This is one of the most life-changing things for small group. Yora! Yeah! Yeah. 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 What's the second syllable? Kane. 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 Stretch it, ready? A. But then you looked at the letters and it looked different. A. Hi, sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you're new here, I am a first grade teacher in Las Vegas. I post weekly vlogs, day in the life, other sorts of little teacher tip videos, and I'm also super active over on Instagram in my stories. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you join us there. Today is Tuesday. Monday's vlog is already up and posted. I also um, just recently filmed a video on wordless picture books. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check that out as well. It's going to do Tuesday and Wednesday because Wednesday night I am headed to New York. So I'll give you guys a little overview of the classroom, a little check-in. That's where we're at. I do need to water some plants. Yesterday we read not quite Snow White, but I didn't have time to actually do the picture retail yesterday. I'm more focused on the discussion. So we get to do that today. Hopefully I can pull a little bit more small groups today. I do have a mom coming to help during our independent reading time, which is when I first start to pull small groups. So number one thing I need to make sure I do today is stay on schedule for the morning because how embarrassing would it be for a mom to get here and then me be like, hang on a minute, we're almost ready for you. Just be there for our kids who, um, need to be need to be reading with someone or who need to check in with a grown-up before they like take these little hair tests. I also have a package from ESGI which is truly perfect timing because I just made my small groups based off my ESGI data but I wanted to open it with you guys because look how cute. I did open it and I like took one glance and I was like let's save it for the vlog. I do talk about ESGI often and I have a discount code that forever lives in my link in my bio so if you're watching here on YouTube obviously I still have the link in there for you in the description, but let's take a peek. They're doing a giveaway, so if you sign up for a trial, you could win this box, but they're also giving away a bunch more boxes. So if you like post that you're watching this YouTube video on like Instagram and you use the hashtag ESGI teacher era, then you could win one of these boxes too. And it's literally so easy. So let's see. This is so cute. Look at it. A little bracelet. I'm gonna pop that on. Got these stickers. Then, is this like a little notebook? Yes, the cutest little notebook. Oh, peppermints, okay. A little, little disco keychain. Oh, a lanyard. Definitely giving Barbie as well. Oh, a pen, ooh, this is a nice pen. How do you open it? Hang on a minute. It... Ah, there we go. Looks like this. And then, oh, this, okay, this is what I'm excited for too. It's a shirt. It says, it's me. Hi, I love teaching. It's me. If you want to win one of these boxes, they are giving them away. So you can just snap a quick pic of you watching this video, share it with the hashtag ESGI teacher era, then you can win one. So the way that I do my small group notes is I use um, kind of a spread. I have up to five groups. Um, this is my binder. So I can put data behind this first tab. So behind each numbered tab for my groups is where I would put my plans. One, this is like a list that I'm using for group one right now for an activity that you saw in my last vlog. Um, and this is a brand new, I emptied everything out because <laughs> I wanted to get ready for the new school year. But anyways, I do have a little notes tab over here, a two page spread of boxes with every student's name. And so I don't have to make like a separate sheet every time I change their groups, which happens quite often because reading groups are supposed to be flexible and you're supposed to be giving them what they need, which might look different. So sometimes I have a student who, you know, masters a skill a little bit faster. They might start out in group two, but then they're in group three the next week. So this is one page of the spread. So I put kind of the topic or the focus of the week over here. So group one, two, three, four, five, my groups don't have 
have fancy names. I literally just call them to my back table by their name. I don't say group one, come. I just call their names. Sari, Joa, Joa, Sari, Joa, Michael, come over. <laughs> and they know to come. So then whoever my group one is for the week, their names go here. You can type these or you could handwrite them in. Whoever my group two is for the week goes here. And then group three, group four, and group five. And this is one of the most life-changing things for small group notes and observations. Having all of my students' observations on one big spread, each of them with a little box, I'll print a blank version to show you, is super helpful. Also during, um, you know, planning, I don't have to look, look through and flip and see, oh, what group were they in? I just see everybody's observations here. So it makes it really helpful. Um, the other tabs are just for reading simplified resources that I use. So like word lists and things like that that I have in here that don't mean anything to you. So I just organize them by you know, different skills. And then I keep also my scope and sequence from the decodables that I use most of the time. This is by Hello Literacy, so it has her scope and sequence. And then this is a quick placement assessment that you can use. So if you take data from, like, let's say ESGI and you see, okay, they're working on CVC words and they know a couple of blends, I can use this quick assessment and kind of see which group they would fit in more with. Um, so that's all very helpful, but I need to get my groups ready to go. I think I also have a meeting this morning because you just have one spread open and you take notes and then you can easily look back and see like how much they've grown or what they were working on and you can plan so quickly so I do have this for you guys in my Google Drive um, and it's it's one of my favorites because the other thing that I do I feel like this is good just to give you guys a little bit of information on as you start the year but the other thing that I do is I take notes and I give them little you know check marks and things off of my weekly tracker. I have a weekly tracker that I check off their work on. I check if I meet with them for group, um, if they're turning in word work, writing, daily work, math, if they're taking AR quizzes, and then other checklists. This is also in my Google Drive for you, but I color code it so on Monday, it goes in rainbow order. So Monday, all the notes that I take will be in pink, Tuesday it'll be orange, Wednesday green, Thursday blue, Friday purple. So if I make a note on my tracker about a student who's like struggling with something like oh they didn't clean up or whatever whatever it is they were bothering another student if I have it in there in pink and then I look back on Thursday and then I have another note in blue like I can see exactly when that happened and I don't have to physically write on Tuesday on Wednesday and then when I'm taking notes in my small group template just at a glance I can see which kids I've met with Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so the color coding system has been super super helpful um and it's something that I've been doing for, I think since my first year now, but very helpful. So three times together, do I want you to shout at me? No, no. Nope, just a strong teacher voice. Pencil should be away. Ready, go. Odd, odd, odd. We're gonna move on to our phonics. Who remembers what our skill that we're working on this week is? I. Specifically, I. Eh, eh, right, it's short and lazy sound. Eh, eh, a short I passage as well. Can you hand me your binder, please? Grown ups on Class Dojo, and I told them that I put a practice, mm -hmm, I put a practice passage, or like a story, in there for you guys. So you can practice at home. It is a practice passage on Fridays and the spelling, right? So this will help you with that too. You can practice this at home. It's good, ready? Sounds. It. How many sounds? Three. Three sounds. What color is my first chip gonna be? Blue. Blue, because it's a consonant. consonant sounds. Let me hear you. It. What color for my second chip? Red. Red, because it's a? Red, ready? Eh, mm, what 
color? Blue. Blue. Good. Ready? Help me spell the word in. First letter? I. I. Next letter? N. And you're going to fill in the missing letter. I. I. Read it. Kids. Okay, beautiful job. You're going to get your own paper. I'm not going to do yours because you're getting in front of all of them. Good, can you change this to a lowercase letter? Basket and then carpet. Good, make sure your P is lowercase. Can you redo it so it goes below the line? Perfect. Basket carpet. You to fix this into a lowercase. Nice job. Perfect. Yep, excellent. Ooh, less than a minute on the timer. Come on, friends. We got this. Oh, first grade. That was awesome. Look how much work we just got done in five minutes. This passage together. We're just going to do the first, the top part today. What do you see up here? The title. That is our title. How can you tell it's the title? Because it has big letters. Big letters and they're what? Well, they are capitalized here and here. We're above it, what else? Hey, buddy, our paper should be turned in. It's bold. Do you know what that word means? Bold. See how these letters look bigger and darker? Yeah, they're important, right? I'm gonna set a timer and then I want you to just look up at the board and we'll go over it together. If you make a mistake, it's O. Oh, right? Practice, practice. Then, then you'll get, get it. it. Follow the pattern, okay. Big. Fit. Slip it inside this front pocket. After thinking about what they have in common. Shelf, book, pencil, carpet. Glasses. What are all those words? Those are nouns because we can see them and we can touch them. We're not going to taste them, but we could. So nouns can be people like Nicholas is a noun. This call is a noun, right? You can see me. You can feel me. You're not going to taste me. I don't want to taste you. can taste there's nouns everywhere. Everything you see in our classroom is a noun. Take a peek. Noun, 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 noun. You can go home. This is funny. This is funny. You can go home to your grown up when you see them today. They're going to be like, what? You're going to go up to them and you're going to be like, I know what you are. And they're going to say, what am I? And you're going to say, you're a noun. You're a grade. No. Can we touch Superstar? No. no, we can't touch it. I was looking at my poem from my class last year. The only thing we found so far is sight words, huh? So what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to find nouns because I already said we were going to do it. And then later in the week, you guys can do the capital letters, punctuation, all that, okay? Does that sound like an okay deal? Yes. I'm so Amazing. sorry. I got confused. It it's happens. Okay. I'm so That's sorry. That's okay, Miss Cole. Tell them you did a great job. first grade. Okay, we're going to skip it straight into our read aloud for this morning. I made the connection that all stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Today we're going to focus on that story structure and we are going to write about it together. We might not get totally done and that's okay. So I'm going to read the book this time a little bit quicker. Not as many turn and talks because I want to focus on the writing. Snow White. <laughs> a singing mermaid. He's <laughs> Snow White. She's too tall. Snow White, if you were there with Tamika, what would you tell her? Talk about it. I got you. The lights were still a little track. He's trying to focus, you're distracting him. I need you to do your job, buddy. And she did. She shone like the star she was. 
And then how does she feel from there? Happy and happy ever after. Oh yeah, that's what we're getting for right in our fairy tales. Curly, you remember? We're trying to get to that happily ever after. A really important role in helping her overcome that fear inside of her. And what happened at the very, very end? She made it. She's so smooth, swift, fast. My girls are gonna get pencils, clipboards. My boys are gonna get their paper. Let's see if you can beat my timer. Ready? Can you do it? 16. She wanted what? She wanted to be snow. White. Okay, everyone stand up, hug your board. Stand up, hug your board. Okay, let's jump the words. Ready? She wanted to be so white. How many words? Six. Okay, on the carpet. She wanted to be so white. Capital letter. Who remembers our secret for that sh sound? Good, watch me, nice and tall. Shh. Good, you're in that first box. Let's go, let's go. Wanted, say wanted. wanted. Without the ending, it's just want. That's one of our new sight words. Can you spell it for me? W. Hold on, pause. I need everyone participating. Can you spell want for me? W. A. N. I can hear you. T. T. Good, we have she wants. We're gonna make it say she wanted. A. Wanted two finger spaces between words. Two is one of our sight words. Spell it. T. -O. T -O. o. Good, I hear him leading. I wanna hear more leaders. One, two, two. B. B. Finger spaces between words. B is a sight word. B. B. Make sure it's nice and tall. Two. B. B what? Snow White. Snow White. Roller coaster's ready. Ready? Snow White. Oh. Here at the beginning. Sn, sn, sn. A blend. A blend. Good. Ready? We're going to use a capital letter for this because Snow White is important. A sn. Oh. Yep. We're going to use O. Look right here. Do you remember how on our secret for the OW you noticed that superhero O was flying? This is one of those times where OW says O. Why? And we already have that spelled for us here. We have, uh uh. We have W. W. I. Why do we have that mommy E on the edge? You can tell me. Because the I. The I is saying the same. Good. Go back. She wanted to be Snow White. Punctuation at the end. Who's they? It's the kids made fun of her. Fun of her. The middle box. H. H. Good. How are we spelling? Uh, e. A. Do you want to do two sentences or do you want to do one combined? One combined. One combined. Okay. Go ahead. Put a comma right here. Bye. Roller coasters. B. Uh. They made her sad, but at the end because it's a blend. What two letters? G N. What? N T. Tell. We're gonna use the same ending from up here. E D. Her parents helped. Let's just stop there. Her parents helped. What happened? How was our story resolved in the end? She became snow. What? This between words, but syllables. B. Came. What's the second syllable? Came. Came. Stretch it. Ready? K A M. But wait mommy. a second. We need mommy. Who can tell me why? Because the A is making it. A. A. Superhero song. Okay, ready? Letters you need. A. Oh, okay. I tried to put it. That's okay. Practice before where we tap our boxes and then we pull down um, colors or letters. We're gonna do that with here. So our first word we're gonna make is the word sad. Can you put your finger in the first box? Sad. What are we pulling down for that first box? S. S. Good, go ahead. What are we gonna change it to to make it say had? Needs to be done. I want you to make it just say, Anne. 
Nope, look, tap your sounds. Uh, mm, I just want to tell you that I so what do you need to do? Mm -hmm. okay. Man, you guys did really good with this list, my friends. <laughs> Together, and then I'm going to listen to you whisper reading the rest of the book. Your finger under the first word where we're going to start. Good. Ready? Let's read it slow together. Dad is mad. Big. Good. When I want to hear you stretching those sounds, okay? Good job. Good. You were about to say blanket, right? But then you looked at the letters and it looked different. Good job paying attention. Dad is dad. Why is dad sad too? Because the dog is Uh huh. And look at that bar too. Yep. Totally okay if when you're writing, you want to stretch those sounds. In fact, I love to hear you practicing like that. You dropped this. I can't give you a check yet. Put it in your folder and then come see me. Okay, you're forgetting punctuation on all these. Next time I want you to remember, okay? So I gave you a check yesterday for word work. Today I'm giving you a check for writing. Your folder is done, so good job. You earned Fun Friday. I'm gonna keep that folder like this. So your writing, it looks like it's missing. Is your writing missing? Oh, it's on the word work side. Make sure I see it and you show it to me whenever time is up. Practicing in math. Subtraction. Subtraction, good. When we subtract, does our number get bigger or smaller? Smaller. It gets smaller. What's one strategy that we practiced yesterday for subtraction? Counting backwards? Yeah, counting back, but on a what? Number line. We used a number line. Now, we're going to talk more about subtraction today, but we're going to be talking about how we can use what we've learned with addition. Do you remember when we had our cubes? We could also say 6 take away 4 equals Two, right? So there's a relationship. Do this. There's a relationship between addition and subtraction, right? We could say four plus two equals six, or we could say six take away two equals four, or we could say six take away four equals two. What does the seven show? Talk about it. You've been using that shows how many all together. You could say seven is the. Most. Some or the most total. Total. Good. Oh my gosh, push your brain. Seven is the sum or it is the total. Seven shows the whole. Or the whole. Did you guys do part part whole in kindergarten? No. no. Did you do number bonds as a part part whole? Instead of circles though, it just looks like a. Where's my eraser? Instead of circles, it just looks like a square. We can do two parts. We can break it up, and we could say, okay, five is made up of one, two, three, and two so it looks like this whole this is one part. it's just one part traction do we start with the bigger number or the smaller number? Bigger number we start with the bigger number right subtraction the number gets smaller so what is the number we're going to start with for a subtraction fact we're going to start with seven and when we do subtraction we use what symbol the, I guess a straight line what's it called everybody what's this called this is the minus symbol. So we would say seven minus how many? Three. Three equals a number, right? We don't know how much is in there right now. There's just a question mark. Does this picture show addition? Do you see where they got the three from? Yeah. Yeah. Where did they get the three from? We can say three plus a number equals seven. Five six seven we counted on four times seven minus three equals four yay yay
can you make a subtraction sentence to show what I just did? Okay, so I have eight and I'm taking away one <coughs> equals a number. What addition sentence can I say to help me solve this problem? Do you know? Go ahead. Pl tell me out. One plus a number equals eight. So if I do that, one plus a number equals eight. One plus what equals eight? Seven. Seven. Try six is made up of two and a number. Nope, nope, nope. You should have nothing on your board. Six is made of two and a number. An addition sentence I could do use to help me solve would be two plus a number equals how many? Six. Six. Five plus a number equals nine. Good. Can you fill in my number sentences? Use addition to help you subtract. Nine. How many did we add? Four. We added four more. So five plus four equals nine. We could also say nine minus five equals four. Four. Okay, it's so starting to make a little bit more sense. Yeah. We're gonna practice one more, right, Bickley? Can't be seen. We are trying to solve seven minus five equals a number. We could also say, help me. Practice a little bit more of this and kind of get us faster into the routine of the rhythm. It took us longer than 20 seconds to get our boards. Let's see if we can put them away in 20 seconds. Nicely, ready? 20. Part, part, hold. Part, part, hold. Kiss your brain. Part, part, hold. We're taking two parts and we're putting them together. Show me two parts and we're putting them together. Two parts and we're putting them together. Okay, if our hole is eight and one of our parts is six, we can say eight. Oh, uh, I, I need you to be looking. Watch my hands, ready? We can say eight minus, minus six, six equals a number. It equals a number. We could also say six minus plus eight. Oh, nope. A number equals eight. eight. Okay, we're going to use addition to help us sub. What number goes in our brain? Six. Six. Put six in your brain. And we're going to count on until we get to what number? Eight. Eight. Ready? Six. So six plus two equals eight. We can also say minus equals two. two. Okay, getting faster? Yeah. Ready to try again? When we start with the bigger number, are we doing addition or subtraction? Yeah. Subtraction. So I can say ten. Minus six equals a number. Good. Or I can say six plus a number equals ten. We're going to use addition to help us subtract. Uh, what number goes in our brain? Uh, six. Six. Ready? Six. Six plus four equals ten. So ten minus. Make sure you're with us. Ten minus six equals we just did six. Okay, we'll do eight. Eight, 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 eight equals a number. Or we could say ten plus. Hold on, is it minus or plus? Plus. It's plus, right? We're doing part, part, whole. I want you to do that again. We could say ten minus eight equals a number. Or we could say eight, eight plus, plus a number equals ten. ten. Good to you to solve this problem. What are we gonna do? 
Count on. Count on. Count on. What are we going to do? Count on. Okay, ready? Eight in our brain? <coughs> My sentence is, I like to play. What's my first mistake? Oh, yeah. Capital letter. Oh, wait, so it should look like play. What's my next mistake? I like to play. How many words? Four, Four words. Place first finger spaces between words. Sound them out the best you can. Punctuation at the end. Go back and check. We do our best. Wasn't bad, truly not bad, but it's just taking a whole lot of energy to make it even halfway decent. My mom did come during our independent reading time. We did our shared writing, and um, this is something I do every week with my kids with our read weekly read aloud. We do a shared writing telling the events of the story, and for the first few weeks, I do that shared writing style then I let off a little bit we'll write maybe the beginning and middle together and then they just have to write the end on their own my kids and across like the grade level even we've been having discussions about our kids like their handwriting is so poor they can't write a sentence I'm gonna send out a message and like let the parents know so I took a picture of their shared writing and then I took a picture of our chart that has all the words on it so that the parents can see that this was something we did together so obviously if their kid is missing like two whole sentences the other thing is if we are sitting on the carpet writing it together word for word and they cannot do it like they are going to struggle when i ask them okay write a sentence about this or write a sentence about this like if they cannot do it when i'm sitting right there guiding them and that's kind of the point that we are at they just cannot write this year i think i mentioned this in my last vlog so what we ended up doing today for writing is i've been working in their journals but today i got out the sentence strips it's hard for me to tell them like okay make sure that you have finger spaces make sure you have a capital letter make sure you have punctuation it's hard for me to tell them that right now so it's 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 hard for me to tell them to work on like the actual mechanics of a sentence when they cannot even write the letters when it's taking them so much effort to just write the letters focusing on the sentence level is too much for them even just the basic sentence level um so that's kind of where we're at i had them afterwards practice on this like handwriting app abc kits that's going to be a huge emphasis this whole next month and probably going to incorporate that into like their word work center for the week is literally even just tracing their name. And it's so important, and I don't think people realize how important handwriting actually is, but when they have to physically sit there and think about how the letters are supposed to be formed, they cannot get anything done. Like, it should be muscle memory at this point, and for some of them it is, but it's totally wrong. <laughs> I mean, phonics went okay. Our read aloud, I had to kind of rush through to get to our shared writing. Um, math, I tried again. I tried to start with the curriculum, but I feel like it's early to be introducing use addition to subtract when we, the only thing we've done so far is like one week of addition. So I did my best, but I just, I know a lot of it was over their heads and I'm like, I should just be doing subtraction right now. My judgment as a teacher is telling me one thing, but then the curriculum is saying this thing. And I had this whole conversation with you guys in the vlog I posted up from Monday, but that was... I don't know I'm just it's just a struggle and like there's certain things that like teaching subtraction to children should come easy right now like this should be the easiest thing but because of the way the curriculum is kind of directing us to do it and the strategies they're directing us to teach it's it's so much harder than it should be so anyways I definitely have to head out of here today so we'll see you tomorrow good morning happy Wednesday today I need to make sure that I get everything ready for my sub. I also give another fluency assessment to my students because we were using one as a team. We were just using one from Ames, but now, now our district has Fastbridge, so now we have to give our fluency assessments again. So this little one-minute passage reads just to see how many words per minute they're at. So I have to make sure I get as much of that done, and I'm hoping we can kind of keep up the pace with our read aloud. Hopefully the day goes by smoothly. So our morning journal today was if you would rather have green hair or green feet. It seems like most of us chose what? 
Most of us chose green hair. I want to show you an example of a student who I think did an exceptional job this morning. She's got some beautiful green hair there. Good for? Yeah. Evan stayed focused on his work the whole time today. Hey, buddy, here you go, buddy. Hey, girl, you're just taking 10 days. Yeah, hello. Thanks. Thanks for my cord over there. I just think the announcements are so good this year. Yes. So if you see anybody from broadcasting, what can you do? Who's on the announcements, working hard to make them really good, what can you say? Thank you. You can say great job on the morning announcements. I love them. You're doing an awesome job, right? So you guys have had substitutes before in kindergarten. The schedule is going to be a little different. And even if the substitute tells you to do something we don't usually do, you need to do it for them, okay? If they ask you to put the chairs a certain way you're not used to, what are you going to do? Just put it that way. Just do it. If they're confused about something, what are you going to do? Help them. If, if, if. Ab, 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 ab. Do you hear ab in winter? No. Pebble? Yes. Yes. Do you hear in in the word spitting? No. Spinner? Yes. Yes. App, app, app. Do you hear app in the word scrabble? No. App, app, app. Scrabble. No. What about the word flap? Yeah. Go, go, go on green. Every, every, every which way. First, first, first place little, little, little boy. And, and salt and pepper. All, because they play with all the balls. Like in the word also or always. Because why? Because they're together. They sit together. Sound? Because they're so cool. Because it's in my hand. Because they're so cool. Ding, ang, ong, ong. Because why? Because they like to watch the bell. They love to watch and listen to the bell. Guess what? Everywhere you point, you're right. Because everything you see is a noun. Today we're going to learn about a special kind of word that shows up everywhere. We use it in our writing. We see it in our reading. I'm going to show you with my body and you see if you can guess. Jumping! Running! 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 Running. Running. You can't touch writing. There are things that you can what? Do! Do! There are things that you can do. do. Today we're what? learning about verbs. Say it. Verbs. 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 A verb is something you can do. do. A verb is something you can do. Do, do is listen a verb. Yes. Yes, because it's some little apples hanging, apples rolling down the ground. Read it with me. And the five, read it with me. And the five little apples sprinted all around. It is. Spell it. I. Next sound. Spell it. Good. Read it. Tell me what to make. 
What was his talent? I want you to keep in mind when we're reading today that our writing today is going to be about a special talent. Let's see how Tamika I'm feels. The like song that goes, I'm when I wake up in yeah. my own pink world. That's what it reminds me of. Thing that I'm good at teaching. So for my writing, I'm going to say, I'm a star. I love to teach. Oh, capital letters, always first. Watch me on the floor. I am a star. Now, you notice in this word, it sounds like we're just saying the letter R. But does R have the power to say its own name? No, we need A. No, we need A because guess what? A is a really generous letter. A actually lets R borrow his superhero cape tracking whenever A and R are together, like in the word far or star or car a let's r borrow his superhero cape which gives him the superpower to say his name his name because if we didn't if it was just like this er, stir 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 that wouldn't be right for a couple of reasons number one that's just a blend. Number two, every single word needs to have a vowel. vowel. A star. Punctuation at the end. Go back and check. I love being a teacher. Syllables. Teacher. Good. E Space and I've got more to say. I have more time. With the S. With the mommy E. It makes finger spaces between words. Me. Happy. Say happy. Happy. Uh, it makes me happy. Punctuation at the end. Okay, you need a pencil. Scissors. Basket. Director, check in. See if they understand the direction. Scissors. What we are working on in math. Minus sign. Minus sign, but what's it called? Subtraction. Good, show me. Subtraction means to take away. Good, do we start with the bigger number or the smaller number? The bigger number. The bigger number and it gets smaller. Okay, we're going to do a warm up with some of our number bones or our part, part whole. It's a part or the whole. Okay, if I take this one and I turn it, Okay, so I just turned it on its side. I'm going to leave it straight up for this one. Okay, I'm going to put a number in the hole and put a number in the part. If our hole is five and we know one part is three, how can we figure out what the missing part is? Talk about it. Come see, no, come see. I had one friend who was laying like this, which means they were not ready to stand up. Then I only heard one friend start talking, listening into my question. If we know the whole is five and we know one part is three, how can we figure out what the other part is? Talk about it. I think it is. What's his strategy? No. His strategy is counting backwards. Let's try his strategy. Ready? Five. Four, three. Did we get the same answer? Yes. Does it matter if we use addition or subtraction to find the answer? Oh, I heard the word strategy. My strategy. My strategy. My strategy. My strategy. I'm going to explain their strategy. And the person was listening and they said, 
But you can't do that. We don't have that number. I love that you're listening, 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 and listening. That's what we're working on. Who can explain a strategy to get my missing part? Um, um, I think that, tell them. that I could use a number line to do it. Oh, a number line. But did you use a number line to do it? Okay, show us what that looks like. It was to count backwards. Backwards. So you were counting forward to try to find the missing number. So you ended up with 11. If we only have seven, can we have four and 11 make seven? No. That doesn't make sense. But your strategy with the number line could still work. Still start at seven. But instead of counting forward four, what should you have done? Back. Counting backwards. Let's try it. Ready? One, two, three, four. And what's the answer? Did the same answer with her fingers? Yes. yes, it works. What's another strategy I can use to find that missing part? The missing part. Can I use addition to find the missing part? Yes. Yes, I can. I can say four plus a number equals seven. Seven. Ready? Four, five, six, seven. What's my answer? Three. Is it same or different? Yes. The same. Okay, we're going to practice doing these problems, except we're going to practice word problems because we have about five minutes. How many more cats does I have? So we can use addition or we can use subtraction. If we use subtraction, we have to start with the bigger number. Which one do you guys want to go for? Addition or subtraction? Subtraction. Let's try subtraction. Ready? Nine four. four equals a number. Ready to count back? Early specials in 10 minutes. Thank you, sir. Ready to come back? Yes. Okay, ready? Nine. Eight. Seven. Thank you. Why does she tell us two? Three times. Thank you, Alexa. Okay, now, Alexa. Miss Call has eight Is a Try using. Uh, okay, so what do I need to say? Uh, eight, eight, no. two, two plus. Uh, think about it. Two plus eight. something. Why did you say something? Um, because. Oh. So our eight is actually going to be our what? Last one. Last one. It's going to be. Do you remember that word? How many are all together? It's called the. Just added. Added. Total. Total. Total or the sum. So now 8 is our sum, right? Last time we said 8 minus 2 equals a number. This time we're saying what? Two. 2 plus a number equals 8. We're trying to get to what number? 8. Count, ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We added 6 more and we got to 8. We added 6 more. I have think time to see if you can get our answer. Private think time. Talk about it. I got two. I think and it's full because we're only put five. The said nine is made up of five and four. Four, because your brains. So today definitely did not go as planned. Not really like because of the kids. We had to do some more fluency on them. We had to do three more fluency passages with them that takes time our interventionist did come in and help me for a little bit because I will be out for the rest of the week and then since I will be out for the rest of the week I just did our not quite snow white craft so now this is in the library giraffes and snow white and then both those books are in there as I was doing the fluency I only had like literally 15 minutes to do math so 15 minute math lesson today it was not anything special or wonderful but I got it in my sub plans are ready to go this is what I'm doing just put our schedule up back here on the board um, just laying it out like that because I don't know who's going to be in my room it might be more than one person or it might just be one person subbing well people come in that way they don't have to like look for where the plans are they're just on the board morning journals and morning message and then I have my substitute folder in here with 
poetry folder if they do it. Read alouds and the activities for the read alouds are in here. And then I leave a bin of reading choices and a bin of math choices. All of my cards that I have are in here. It's just like rewards if they want to use them. Today actually was a pretty good day. It just went by really, really quickly. And I just stay after school for a super long time with my kids. So I have to get out of here and hop on a plane. So hopefully this video is helpful, even though it was a little bit shorter. Let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and join the family. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.